in the interview? What are you yeah. looking for? <laughs> so what are we looking for in the interview? Um, and I get asked this more times than <laughs> I can, you can imagine. There are so many things against just choosing the right people in the nicest possible way. Yeah. <laughs> One is that we're interviewing them at 17. So I'm trying to interpret what this 17 year old is going to be like yeah. five, six years time. Even in one year's time yeah. is difficult enough. So I'm trying to look at how people think. Mm. Um, the example I often use for people, and we don't use this anymore for our interview questions, <laughs> but the example I often use is a question that was used when I started doing interviews some years ago now, that was used by one of my predecessors, Adrian Dixon. And Adrian used to say, um, do you ice skate? And the go, yes or no. Or yeah. Or yeah. And you say, okay. So he says, how is it you can ice skate? And the usual response from most people would be, well, we're we're on a small surface area, mm -hmm. on a smooth surface, there's little friction and therefore we, we can glide because we can move over the smooth surface with, and that's fine. Mm -hmm. And then he says, and this is the killer blow, he says, that's absolutely right, he says, but the trouble is we can't skate on glass. And all of a sudden, a bit like you, they go, <laughs> oh my God, yeah. we can't skate on glass and that's very smooth. And so what's yeah. gone wrong? Yeah. <laughs> And so we put people into a position where they don't necessarily know the answer, yeah. but they've mm. got the information. Mm. So if they know the answer, not interested, next question, let's move on. Yeah, yep, mm. you're clever, but let's move on to a question that, that explores this better. If you don't know the answer, we start saying, okay, so let's think about what ice is, mm. what is different between ice and water, and it's about hydrogen bonds between the molecules, yeah. and it forms a lattice and it forms a solid. So if you've got hydrogen bonded molecules of water and you put 70 kilos on a razor blade on top of a hydrogen bomb what happens to the hydrogen bond well it breaks yeah. <laughs> if you break the hydrogen bond what you got you got water if you've got water what do you got you've got a lubricant hence we can skate on on ice so it's not a very complex answer no but it involves processing of information in a stressful situation <laughs> where where you're thinking oh my god i failed i might just go <laughs> home now because i didn't know this and uh, so that's quite you know that is quite a good question it's the rudiments of yeah. the question or what I try to base our assessment on mm -hmm. is the Canadian Medical Society, CanMeds, have produced a series of characteristics of the good doctor as communicator, the good doctor uh, mm. as manager, the good doctor as, and so forth. An ethical framework, yeah. uh, computational skills, uh, um, you know, all of these are important. It's not because we want to know what your views on abortion are, but because we want to know that you can process the discussions and are able to converse about them and communicate about them.